Okay, so continuing on, I'm going to go into doing the actual meshes for the map, so I'm just going to do this as quickly as I can. Create a... Alright, so that's not the right size yet. I'm going to make it to 3... 10,000. Um, those fall off like that. It looks like it'll have a better curved surface. This looks like it'll be cool, but use up a lot of the CPU or GPU. I might leave it as four, maybe. That looks like it could do. I don't think it needs to be any more than four. So there's that done. That's that shape done. So where is it? Oh, it's so far. Alright. So reset that. And reset the pivot as well. There we go. Now I can move it up. Make sure it's in the right spot. I think it might be a bit big. So when I'm done, I'll resize it down. Alright. Ah, I'll make it, then change it. Okay. Geometry. That's that done. And flip it. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Alright, uh, oh, I know what's gone wrong. So I've got to um, move it up, delete that, move it down. Oh, I need to change what it's been moved on. It's currently going by one point at a time, that's not good. Uh, if I change it now, it's too late. That's annoying. Alright, uh, down to 32. Look at that, now it's a bit too high. That is very sad. Alright, maybe if I redo it to zero, zero, zero again, it'll work better. Looks like that's a bit better. That'll do for now. Alright, so create the geometry. I don't know why that's happened. Yeah. So I inverted the sphere in case you didn't know, so I clicked flip, that inverts the normal, so normals is which way it faces, right? So there's that, and then that's done, so I can turn that into my cylinder now, give it the properties I want, 10,000, wrong one, oh wait, that's right, 10,000, and give it, oh I need more than 8 now, I'm probably going to need 32 sides. That's just going by the fact that, yeah, there we go. So it's perfectly lined up if you look here. So I was just going by, oh, not perfectly. So silly. There you go. Ah, it's a bit big. So when I was doing my size, because it's to the power of 3, if you look at my settings here, it's, so that's to the power of 4, sorry. So uh, what was it? So it's thing is 2 to the power of 4. Yeah, so 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and 16 times 2 is 32. So that's why. So if it was 3, say it was there at 3, I'd need not um, 32, but 16 sides to match it up properly. And that's the kind of maths we do here. So if I get this one back again, so if you look, oh, I'll do it on this one. So I've just matched up the sides, but if you look, they're still pretty far off. So I'm going to have to actually shrink it. See, so I do that and it gets way too small. So I'll have to play around with the actual values of the outer radius. So 9,995. Now what happens? What happened to that? Uh, 
How does that one look? 9,995. Looks a lot better. Is this getting closer? Very weird. What if I do this? Did I miss something? Where's it gone? Oh. So I'm just counting all the units. So one, two, I think that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, sixteen, twenty. So twenty less. Let's do that, and that should measure. Ah, uh, damn it, really. So ten less. Oops. Did I miss something here? Alright. This is very annoying, but it must be done. Oh, that's very close, isn't it? That's further, alright. So it's going to be this. Oh, really? Look at that. I think this is perfect because it's a bit in, so if I needed to, I can just move it down a bit. So if I move back onto this side, if I can ever make it over there. There we go, that's perfect as well. Alright, that's all I need to do here. So now I just need to make sure it's lined up. On this axis. I get the feeling this isn't even lined up. Yeah, look at that. There we go, right clicking to make sure that I'm using that point. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to definitely save now because I don't want it to just stuff up. Here we go, back to 32. Okay, so I've got my top and I've got that. I'm going to quickly go into here and delete the top. Which one's the top? This, oops. This one. There you go, thank god. 
Alright, and I'm going to make this into a brush. Oh no! Alright, well I did save it, so that's okay. I can just jump straight back in. Oh look, my other tutorial. Zing! Ooh, unreleased ones. And that is why you save often. There we go. So back into here. Wrong one. Don't want to delete side. Make sure you're in geometry mode. Seriously. So instead of doing it the other way now um, and risking it crashing again, I'm going to go ahead and create this as a static mesh now. Invert to static mesh. Hex, 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 hex. Alright. Mesh underscore map underscore bot bottom. So my naming conventions is what it is, then um, what it belongs to. So it's the map and what the actual object is. So the bottom of the map. There we go. I've created that. I can actually delete this now. So now I shouldn't get any oops, I shouldn't get any issues with building hopefully. There we go. Aha, but it's facing the wrong way, so I can either control Z and then flip the whole if you flip it'll flip all of the faces on the brush. I can do that and build and now it does it the other way. Or I can select the brush afterwards and flip it that way. So I'm going to select. Oops. Oh, I don't need this anymore. Bye bye. Select this face and delete it. Don't need that. Uh, build that. Here we go. Here's my indoors area. So now I can go ahead and save it. There you go, now I've got my bottom and my top. Alright. So before I build, I'm going to drag him into the scene. So here it is. Don't know why it's a new package. It's strange. Okay, so first off. Oops. I'm going to set it back to 0, zero. And I'm going to set the pivot. Why does it do that? Alright, well, anyway. Look at that. So beautiful proper lining up. Alright, this one can go in here as well now. And I'll reset that as well. And I'll set the pivot point. Why is it doing that? Oh, that's... no. Alright, that'll do, I suppose. There you go, and I can match it up on here as well, hopefully. Look at that, perfect. Bring it as far as I can, making sure that it's matched up properly. Alright, now when I save first, then build it. Where's my build from? There we go, and here's my map. So this is just the map itself. Um, this won't have any colliders yet. I will add these colliders in right now, just to make sure that I do it properly. So, here we go. 
So I'm not sure how the collision will work with this. I've heard that doesn't work properly because of the sticky walls, sorry. There you go. And package is good. Select them both. Convert them to foliage thing. And then set up the colliding. Right, and I also want physical material to be sticky walls. Oh, I could have just control clicked them. So if you edit properties on two things and they're the same type, then you'll edit it for both of them. Okay, that's that done. I believe that's everything to do with that. Alright, so that's done. Package has been saved. So I could just go into the game now and play this. Um, oh look, it's the tiny little bit of the map. Alright, so before I finish this one tutorial, there's one more thing I have to add, and that's the platform. So if I grab this cube, there we go, ah, oh, perfectly placed, love it, and create it, oops, got my cube, now I can extend it out, sorry, how far through the map, about here, I don't want people to be able to hit it off the wall and put it in easily. They're going to have to follow it up. It might still be a bit too easy. Don't want to make it too hard though. There you go. Right, we also need something that will enable players to actually understand where they are in relation to the map. So to do that, I'm just going to quickly do this. This seems like it might be a bit big. Might actually just do that for both of them. That size seems about right. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to say bugger it all together and I'm going to go with the theme of this map, which is that. We go back to the center, 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 good. And then I'm going to make it a bit bigger. About that big, maybe. Let's see what it looks like inside. Um, that looks like a fair goal. All right, uh, but I don't want it to be that big. So there go, there's the platform. Alright, that's that platform done. Let's add geometry to it. Uh, chuck a blocking volume on there. Okay, so this is where the goal is going to go. I would also like to do a hollow one. Well, now I have to figure out how big it was. 
which is why it's always better to use numbers. Um, I'd say it's about 2,000. No, 1,800. Hey, look at that. I am almost god. And here comes the perfectionist. Alright, that'll do. So the inner radius now I have to change. I would like it to be there. There you go. Now there is a goal and a way to hit it onto it. Was this right? I do need to move it down a bit. Why is this so high? Oh, that's why. There we go. Now this is lined up, I believe. Yep, bit overlapping, that's fine. I think. Wait, bit overlapping? I can't even tell anymore. Oh, that is in fact there. Okay. Um, back down to the minute details. Oh no. Oh, someone's calling me.
Okay, so had a phone call. I've just added a goal here. So if you double click on the goal, you can see it has a goal. I've got to add it. So this creates a goal. Um, team number none. Alright, so whatever the rotation is, so red, I think. There we go. So goal orientation, I gave the orientation of my goal. So there we go, that should be that done. That's all the goals. That's what we're going to leave it at for this tutorial. And I'll go through some other stuff after it. Cheers, guys.